It's why people don't trust people like you because you peddle false narrative. And so we And we wonder why we can't trust Ron DeSantis. Oh yeah, because he's a fucking liar. Now let me guess, you're gonna be a hundred percent accurate about this bill. I work at elementary school. Um, do you know one of the most common questions elementary kids ask their teachers? Are you married? Do you know under this new law, if a male teacher is asked, are you married? And he's married to a man. He says, yes, I, I have a husband. Or yes, I'm married to Paul. That he could be sued. Well, big surprise. I guess we can't trust you. The bill is referring to classroom instruction. Answering that question is not classroom instruction. And even if what you said were true, this bill refers to sexual orientation, not a specific orientation. So if a kid asked that question and a male teacher answered that and talked about his wife, that would be illegal too. And then you and others are freaking out that the other part of this saying that after grade three, to only talk about this subject in an age-appropriate manner, that, oh, that means they'll just deem it not age-appropriate and then you can't even talk about it if you're a senior. That's ridiculous. Because whenever it's appropriate to talk about a straight orientation, that means it's going to be appropriate to discuss any other orientation because it doesn't specify an orientation. Under this bill, a parent can notify a principal that something under this has been violated and the school has 30 days to address it. If they don't address it, the parent can file for an injunction. If an injunction is granted, the court may award damages and must award reasonable attorney's fees and court costs. And that is from the school district, not the teacher. If people want to oppose these bills, that's fine, but at least oppose the bill that actually exists instead of the made-up one in your head.